Hello, I'm Louis Salaya. I am the uh, Future Foundation uh, Chair for this year's Health Expo. This is Health Expo 6. Um, we're here in the lovely uh, building of the Greer Hills Calabasas Community Center in the city of Calabasas here at our um, annual Health Expo. Awareness of health and screenings that we have is one of our main focus. So people can come here and have a variety of carotid artery, stroke screenings, foot, asthma, skin, and free screenings for them to come out and be healthy. A lot of folks come. They're very um, helpful and thankful for the screenings that we have. Um, we're providing this year a um, asthma screening, a full blood panel screening. I think we have body mass index as well as um, foot screenings as well. So the community is very happy that we provide this. A lot of this is free. And what we're doing is we're doing body composition measurements. We have a machine here called the Bioelectrical Impedance Machine and it measures body fat percentage, body fat um, in pounds, lean mass in pounds, lean fat or lean mass percentage, also your hydration levels, your BMR, your BMI. And we're gonna go about two inches down on an adult. We're gonna go at a rate of 100 a minute, approximately. A minute. So about one every two, you know, two every one second, so one. I came in when I walked up to the, the booth here, thinking that CPR was something that you needed to be certified in, that you needed to take a class and get it checked off on. And having just that little simple technique shown to me gave me the confidence that if I needed to do this, I would be able to do this. Okay, good. So, start going to We've seen a range of precancers, actinic keratoses. I've seen one or two squamous cell carcinomas, I believe. I've seen a few moles that are a little bit concerning that need to be biopsied. So I'm educating patients on what to look for, signs of cancer, precancer, and as well as uh, sun protection. With the aging population, the, the need for home care in general is going to increase. And the estimates, as you know, are there are about 10,000 seniors that turn 65 every single day. So there's a huge need for it. And, um, you know, we just hope that uh, we can keep up with the aging population to provide uh, the right level of care. Thank you.